Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you some of the many things you can do with Google Keep. Google Keep is a free service that you can use in your web browser, on your Android device, or on your iOS device. Now you can see here I'm in my web browser, signed in with my Gmail account, but you can also sign in with a G Suite for Education or G Suite for Business account. The first thing we're going to do is use the Chrome extension, the Google Keep Chrome extension, which is designed for bookmarking. Now, I have it installed. It's this little, little icon, Save to Keep. And I'm going to take a little note that says something, something to the effect of Discuss with students on Monday morning. Now, I could leave it just like that with just my little note or I can apply one of my labels like current events articles for kids to have back here in Google Keep where it's now automatically synced up and I have a label called current events articles for kids and down at the bottom here I can edit my labels so I want to change out some of those labels or I want to create a new label. I can do that as well. And I can put a new label in and say things to discuss with current events class. And now that's the label that I can apply to any of my notes. Now if I bookmark something like for example this map and I forgot to apply a label to it, well, I can go here to the More menu, and I can always add my label later on. And now I have a label. Now if I want to filter this out and just look at my current events articles notes, on the left-hand side, I'll just select that, and it'll show my current events articles that I've bookmarked to share with my students. Now, speaking of sharing with my students or sharing with others, any of the things that I've bookmarked, like this note here, I can select Add Collaborator, and I can now email this to anyone that I want to send it to. So I might send it to Max. And now Max has access to that note including the link and my note to discuss this with students on Monday morning. Now there's still more that I can do with this bookmark, including the option to remind myself to discuss this with my students on Monday morning. I'm gonna hit the remind button and let's set a date and time to get a reminder. So I want this to remind me on Monday morning at 8 a.m. And I'll save it. Now that reminder will appear not only on my desktop, if I have desktop notifications enabled, it will also appear on my phone where I have notifications for Google Keep set to appear as well. Now you may have noticed there that the note has the option to get a reminder not only for date and time, but also for location. So let's select this note again and open up the Remind Me button and select a place to get the reminder. So let's pick place and I'll put in the school. And with location services turned on on my phone, I'll get a notification of that reminder based on location as well as the date and time reminder that I've created. Now, both of those reminder options can be used with any note, not just bookmarks. So, for example, if I want to set a reminder for myself to pay phone bill, I might select pay the bill by using the checking account. And I want to set a reminder to remind myself that I want to do this 
next week or tomorrow or any date in the future. It will work with any note that I create. Now you'll notice here that since I was already in current events articles for kids, that it automatically applied that label here. Let's remove that label. So now this is a generic note that appears here in my notes, but it also appears in my reminders. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at some other ways we can use our notes in Google Keep. I'm gonna select take a note here, and as I write this note out, it might be something as simple as reminders for Thursday. Remember to bring lunch to school. Remember to bring back library books. And again, I can set that reminder. But not only can I set the reminder, I can add a collaborator for that note as well. So if I'm sharing this list with somebody else, maybe I'm sharing it with a co-teacher, and we have a few things we're delegating to each other, I might share that note between us. If you are collaborating on a list of tasks with somebody else, there's a better way to do it than to write just a generic note. Let's select the new list option and say things to do for group project. research right draft of presentation practice presentation so now we have our little list of things to do for the group project and again we can add a collaborator to that list now I'll add Mason to this list and save it and as we go through we can check off those items from the note now you'll notice here as I was writing the note I have the option to pin that note to the top of my Google keep dashboard so that, that note always appears at the top anytime I log into my Google keep whether that whether I do that in my web browser or I do it on an Android device or on an iOS device. So far, all of the notes that we've created, we've done by just using the keyboard or using the bookmarking tool. But now let's take a look at some other ways that we can create notes. You'll see up here in the Take Note menu, we can add a drawing. When we add drawing, we now have tools for drawing. And I might do a quick little something like two plus two equals four. And I'll save that note. And I can write a little note like great math lesson. Close it and that now saves as a note. So it's great if you prefer to draw your notes out or sketch your notes out or the topic is just one that doesn't lend itself to typing very easily. Another mod modification of that kind of note is the option to create a new note with an image. And you can do this both in the web browser version as well as the mobile apps of Google Keep. Let's select a picture. And I can write this note here and say, note about bike wheels. But if I click on the image itself, now that it's added to my note, in the upper right hand corner, you'll see there's now a tool for drawing on top of this image that we've added into the note. And you can draw, point out things on that image. And then again, close that note and save it. Now, because Google Keep is a part of your Google account, 
it will integrate with Google Documents. And if you're a teacher who has to give a lot of feedback on students' Google Documents, Google Keep can help you out with that. So here's what we'll do is we'll create a note and I'll call my note use of evidence. And in the note, I'm going to write something very basic, a simple comment that I might frequently use when I'm giving students feedback on persuasive writing. And I might say something like, um, the use of evidence needs improvement. See me for specifics. And we'll close that note, and it's just going to be saved here in my Google Keep. Now I have this document, and we'll see when I have this document open, I have Google Keep. And I'll open up Google Keep directly from the document. You'll see all of my notes are right here. And I'm going to select Use of Evidence. Now. If I select add to document, that's actually going to insert it into the document. And that can be handy if the note is something like a citation, maybe a bookmark that you want to include into the footnotes of the document. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say copy that and I'm now going to insert my comment by copying and pasting in there. And now I can have my comment quickly and easily added in. It's great for those times when you find yourself writing the same type of comment over and over again as you're grading or giving feedback on dozens of essays at a time. Now, obviously this use of evidence is the last note I wrote, so it's at the top of my Google Keep window and it opens over here. You can also go up here and search, and if you've titled it something easy, you just do your search, and that will quickly pull it up. And now the last thing I want to show you in Google Keep is purely aesthetics. Any of these notes here, if you don't want to use the default black and white, you can simply go in here and select a different color for your note and you may use this for color coding or simply because you're tired of looking at the black and white layout of Google Keep Notes. So those are 10 features of Google Keep that teachers can benefit from using. As always for more tips and tricks like this please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.